haven't been in the kitchen for a while but I'm back in tonight and I'm going to make a macaroni cheese souffle I don't mention souffle because Phil doesn't like soufflés and he won't know the difference anyway so um, anyway it's my own recipe um, and as usual no measuring um, so what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to turn this around I'm going to boil some macaroni some macaroni with some water so it's boiled do that then I am going to make a, a cheese sauce the bechamel um hide that so yeah, i'm going to make it a cheese sauce um in a pan with onion and cheese uh, then i'm going to whisk up some eggs so they're light and fluffy egg whites first so they're um what do you call them stiff and egg whitey i'm uh, going to add the yolks back in stir that in then i'm going to get my my bechamel sauce um, and um, put that in with the egg whites and egg yolks then add the cooked pasta then I've got the oven on already and I'll put it in a dish pop it in the oven and out should come a macaroni cheese souffle okay I forgot to tell you about two important things to start with before I do any cooking and that's uh, one make a nice gin and tonic um, the other one is to have some olive bread and olive oil with a dash of balsamic vinegar. Okay, I'll get on with cooking now. Okay, so far I've cooked macaroni, macaroni, uh, so it's still al dente, um, because it's got some more cooking to do when it goes in the oven. Um, and now I'm going to chop the onions, um, chop the onion, grate some cheese, add it to the pre-prepared bechamel sauce, which I'm going to do in a pan, um, and then I'll come back to you. Hang on. Okay, I've um, added some extra milk and cream to this bechamel sauce because I want it quite um, runny. I've also added my onions and a, um, a thing of pepper. What's a thing of pepper? A, a, a couple of stir, a thin grounds of pepper. I think I need a bit more milk. As I say, it's my recipe, so um, I can put what I would like in it. But anyway, I'm going to go for a bit more milk because I do want it quite runny in order to souffle later. Right. I'm adding grier to this cheese sauce because um, I want to make it a bit like a fondue souffle macaroni cheese. Um, and I don't think you grate, I don't know, if it's, I don't know grated, fond, grated grier. So I've, I've diced it and then I'm going to add it to the, the bechamel cheese sauce thing. A few went in my mouth as well, but um, stir that in, and I'm gonna wait for that to cool down before I add it to the eggs. I've made that mistake before. Now I'm gonna fold the egg yolks in with the egg white using a metal spoon. Okay, egg whites have been mixed in with egg yolks, and it's looking lovely. Um, I have over here the um, cheese sauce, um, which, as you can see, is still steaming. But I have stuck my finger in it, and it's um, not to have clean hands, by the way. Um, quite cool. So I'm going to have a go because I can't be able to wait any longer. Putting that in with that. That's all mixed in together. So in goes the macaroni. Oh, that's going to go in one lump, isn't it? Um, they do a bit of um, separating here. Add it. Um, you can talk to Maisie if you like, Maisie. Oops. Right, um, I'll do a bit more of this. Hang on, I'll uh, come back. That's all the macaroni in with the souffle mix, and I'm gonna then pop it into this dish and then put it in the oven. Um, there it is in the oven. I'm gonna shut the door now. Da da! Finish my GT, do a bit of clearing up. Come back when I think it's ready. Um, don't know where. Uh, macaroni cheese souffle. Looks like it's risen quite well. Um, I'm gonna dish it up now. 